Well, guys, it seems like we got another attack in Sydney, Australia. This time it was on a church live streaming their service. Let's update you on some breaking news from Australia to Sydney, where a man has been arrested after a number of people were stabbed. This happened at a church in the west of the city. The police saying none of the injuries are life-threatening, though. But it happened is what is believed to be in a Syrian Orthodox church. Uh, there was a dramatic moment where a man approached the bishop in the church. He stabbed him and others is at the time this was a service that was being live streamed on YouTube. So you can hear in the background, apparently you can hear people screaming as it happened and then the feed is disconnected. So incredibly harrowing for people, of course, who were watching that live stream at the time. But just to remind you, no one has been seriously injured. We have no details at the moment about a motive. Yeah, that's the BBC talking about it there, but they didn't show any videos or pictures. I'll give you three guesses as to why. But so far, I haven't seen the BBC bring up 15-year-old far-right attacks to their credit, but obviously it's the BBC. There's still time for them to do that. Uh, a report from Norway some years ago, I think it was 2009, of an explosion and multiple gunshots. Everyone assumed that it must be Al-Qaeda. It turned out to be Anders Breivik, a far-right extremist. No, this time the actual attack failed itself to do any real damage, as all involved are okay. But what I want to show you in this video is the massive crowd that's arrived outside who want to ransom mob justice to the scumbag who did this. <laughs> Yeah, clearly they're not happy and the old Bill are having a hard time getting him out because at the time this video was taken, the police were still holding the suspect inside after members of the congregation stopped him before he could actually kill anyone. Now, obviously, before the old Bill could get him out of there, the building was surrounded by locals who was ready to give him some real justice, but for now, it looks like they can't. How the old Bill planned to get him out of there without that mob getting him baffles me, and to be honest, I don't really care if they do. He didn't care about the people he tried to stab up in there, so why should anyone care about him? Plus, the videos I've seen show him laughing about it, so I'm not surprised they're ready to go medieval on him, are you? Pandemic. We're off.